Hey, how's it going guys? This is Isaac from Easy Music Center. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to update your Pod HD 500. Uh, to do this, we're going to be using Line 6 Monkey, which you can get off their website. When you have the application open, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is sign into your user account, which you should have created when you uh, uh, signed up for your warranty. Um, so you can see here we have three things out of date right now. One being the drivers, uh, the second being the flash memory, and the third being the Pod HD 500 edit program. Uh, first you're going to want to update your drivers since that's the most important. Um, you're going to want to use that um, so it can actually, so your computer can actually recognize the Pod HD 500 as a unit. Um, so once you finish downloading, you just follow the prompt and uh, you'll get to this window where you can read the user agreement and you know make sure you're not signing your life away. Uh, continue following the prompt and click install and wait for the install to finish. Uh, once you've done this, uh, it's going to ask you to restart, uh, which I'm doing now. So once you finish the restart, you're going to want to open up the Line 6 Monkey program again. Um, you're going to have to sign into your account again, obviously. But if you take a look at the top, you'll notice that the yellow exclamation point is now turned to a green check mark. That's letting you know that you've updated your drivers properly. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is update your flash memory. This is specifically for your Pod HD 500, so you want to make sure that you're, it's plugged in with the USB um, when you do this. Um, this right here is asking me, um, you know, the flash update may change some presets. Is this okay? Not every update is going to do this, though, so you can go ahead and read the patch notes um, to find this out. So I read ahead, it wasn't going to change it, so I went ahead and clicked yes. And so that next screen is asking me if I want to keep my existing patches. Of course I clicked yes, I don't want to lose any of my personal settings that I've done. Um, and then of course don't disconnect your HD 500 and close all applications that may be using it during this process. And you're going to want to go ahead and check this uh, somewhat frequently. Um, Line 6 is really good about updating their software and keeping things fresh. I think the last thing they released was a mic preset for the uh, mic input on the HD 500. Um, so, once it's finished updating, you'll get this prompt which is telling you to disconnect the power cable from your HD 500 for 5 seconds and then reconnect it while, while it's still plugged in with your USB. And once that's done, uh, your HD is successfully updated. And there is the green check mark that is letting us know that. So, last but not least, we are going to be updating the uh, program, the Pod HD 500 Edit. For those of you who haven't messed around with this program before, uh, it's a great application, it's very user-friendly, um, and it's a great way to get other presets from people around the world that have already done uh, all the work for you. Um, you know, and especially if you're not comfortable with using the knobs on the HD 500 itself, then you know, I definitely recommend you use the program to do that instead. So once you finish the download, here we are back again on the install uh, screen. Again, read the, the software uh, license agreement, don't want to sign your life away. Um, and then choose your install destination and click install. And then of course it's going to ask you to restart uh, once that's finished. So once you restart, go ahead and open up Line 6 Monkey one more time just to make sure that we did everything correctly. And there you have it, all three green check marks, so we're in the clear. Uh, thanks guys for watching the video, I hope it was informative. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching.